Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Team Race, and I got Salty out, and we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to try to mess with the drivability on this car. We've been struggling with keeping it cool on the highway and on the road. We have a pretty small radiator for the twins and everything. We can go bigger if we want to, prefer not to. But what I've done is I came up with this little cardboard piece right here. As you can hear, the fans are running. And we're going to try to duck the air coming in through the bumper through there and then force the air through the radiator instead of letting it shear off and come up. Right now I've been adjusting the PWM fan because it is a brushless fan. So it's running at about 50% right now. As you guys can see, you can come up here. For whatever reason, five makes it full. Here it kick up. Quite a bit louder. And now it can't cut your fingers off. So, I've been debating, it's pretty warm here. It's one of our last probably real warm days we're gonna have in Colorado for the year. So I think I'm gonna throw the hood on this thing and go drive it a little bit and see if that helps keep the car cool. I don't know if it'll be enough, but it's worth the try because that'd be a super simple fix to help with our cooling issues. I do want the car to stay cool with the hood on, but worst case, we can always drive it with the hood off. And in case this thing rubs the fan or whatever, it takes a ton of time to get all the Zeus's off and get the hood off this thing. So actually, I think I'm gonna drive around without the hood on. It still got warm without it. So let's see if it gets warm without it with this. And then the next step would be to test it with the hood. I went to leave and that was rubbing the ground, which I had noticed at the last event when I pulled it back in. Got it kind of tucked up, but still you can see where it's been rubbing. And then while I was looking at everything, this is taking quite a beating already this year. If you do not have these diapers perfect, it rubs. I think even if it's perfect with everything moving around, uh, it seems to touch and stuff. So somehow rubbed a hole even in the bottom there, but the pan doesn't look to be that messed up. So it's like right there where it could probably use to come up a little bit. So that's going away. Also, that was probably keeping some heat in. So it'll be good to have that off because I think I'm going to go with a there's a company that makes an engine pan for these cars with this type of K-member. So it comes in, you got to weld some little tabs on that bolts in. Then you have an engine pan instead of the diaper, which should allow things to be cooler because you don't have like a blanket wrapped around your engine. So far, so good. Not too bad, but also haven't driven a bunch. Just went over to the shop and got some pad. It's not much, but it's something better than nothing. So uh, I bought some bibs in my upper strap so that I couldn't quite get so far. I could there. I'm going to get some better pads or I thought about welding an attachment onto the seat that comes over a little pad on it or something. I'm not sure yet. Trying to make it like an enclosure, but it's so tight, I have to make my own. We'll grab some more fuel so we can drive a little further, but so far, it's about the highest we've been. 181 degrees, but when I'm driving around, I've never really had a problem like stop and go traffic parked none of that it's always when we get on the highway and we maintain speed for a long time that's where it starts to gain heat just cruising see it's starting to climb a little bit it's like every so often it'll just gain a degree i haven't gotten away from that so i don't like anything above about 210 we get 205, 208, I'm gonna start figuring something out or driving a little slower or whatever, but 
made it. Pulled in. 200 degrees, so actually doing really good. Maybe this whole thing's doing pretty good. And also ditching the diaper, I'm sure it's helping. It's like 75 degrees outside right now. So obviously if we're in 90 or 100 degree ambient temp, we'd probably run in 215, 220, which some cars run that. I don't love that, but 202, um, 207 hung, and then like towards the end, 202, 200, so not bad. Actually only got to like 188 on the way home we're about 15 ish degrees cooler now ambient um so kind of makes sense so it's glad i'm glad that it was held holding temp going down uh, maybe the next one's just a little bit longer drive maybe put some more weight in and put the trailer behind it and then build out probably that little um ducting and then try to drive it during a hotter day and see where we <laughs> end up with it i don't think we're way far off that tells me i'm close just a few little th tweaks to the cooling system and we should be able to make this work hopefully for a drag and drive. Might not be ideal, or if it got real, real hot, we'd have to be careful or slow down here and there. But for the most part, I shouldn't need to make any major change to it to get it to stay cool, um, at least in its current configuration.